Lunch, supper, what? <laughs> I wish. Uh, would you like something to drink? Would y'all like anything to drink? Soda, no, water? No, sir. I'm fine, thank okay. you. Good check. Sure. So how you been? Can't complain. I'm above ground. Any day above ground is a good day. Yeah, I guess maybe. I guess maybe. Some days I wonder even about that. Yes, sir. How are you making it? You doing all right? Yeah, I can. I don't do anything. I'm retired now, so I don't do anything at all. Yeah, I can't complain. Yeah, I guess maybe. Some days I wonder even about that. Yes, sir. How are you making it? You doing all right? Yeah, I can. I don't do anything. I'm retired now, so I don't do anything at all. And I have, I've been that way for a number of years. <coughs> I've gotten quite used to it. What's, what's bothering you, anything? As far as what? I got some questions about some constitutional issues. There aren't any. There's no constitution. Well, that's... They threw that, it away. Well, that's part of the problem. Yeah. Okay. Who's it's either 215 or 230. 215. All right. Come on in. Oh, my goodness. I can't no, read no, all no, that no, stuff. No, 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 no. Just go ahead and have a seat. Oh, you're all right. That's okay. We generally do uh, clockwise. Yeah. yeah. Brief, brief reading, huh? This seat all right? Yeah, and where you want. Okay, what can I do for you? Well, I've got some issues regarding the Constitution. Name? James. James, okay, go for it. I filed a lawsuit a, a year ago regarding um, the failure of the government under Obama and some congressmen and senators to uphold the letter of the law. What's been going on is my employer is still in wages. There's Who's I've, your employer? It's United Parcel Service. I filed complaints with the Department of Labor, the IRS, filed complaints with the whistleblower, the whole... Taking wages from you, personally? No, as a whole. Not only me, but employees throughout the country. Is UPS unionized? Yes. Well, go ahead and tell me, because I'm wondering why the union's not doing anything, or if you sued the unions are, The union's aware of No, I sued on behalf of the government. I was going to file a false claims act lawsuit because UPS is a federal contractor. Well, with what the memorandum that Obama released, anybody that owes in taxes or anything is not supposed to be receiving federal contracts. Well, UPS is falsifying the information that they're providing to the government in order to get the contracts. So in essence, when they're stealing wages, not only are they stealing the property of the employee, but it's an employment tax evasion. There's a report that's been released by the Congressional Research Service of employers owing $58 billion in back taxes that the IRS refused to collect, claiming that they don't have the manpower to do it. But yet they can go after a company, a small business owner in California, send two IRS agents and force him to pay over four cents but they're not going to follow through on this. File complaints with Biden's office. I got a response from Biden, Pelosi, Feinstein, everybody on the uh, Judiciary Committee of the Senate, Obama, Axelrod, Emanuel, and Holder, Lanny Brewer, the whole bit, nothing. Biden says he's going to forward this to the Department of Justice, as did everybody else. What is the specific nature of the taking of the money? It's simple employment tax. It's tax evasion. 
the IRS and the Department of Justice goes after I'm not, individual. I'm not, I'm not talking about what the IRS does or doesn't do. Tell me what UPS is supposed to be doing that they're not doing. Supposed to be paying people for the wages they work. Give me an example. Employees are working through their meal periods, uncompensated. For whatever reason, it doesn't matter. They owe them the money. Are the UPS employees salaried or hourly? They're hourly. Have you filed a, a fair yes, sir. Labor Standards Act lawsuit? No. What I well, did that, was... the statute that gives you the ability to force your employer to pay you the wages that you have earned. I went down that route. I filed complaints with the Wage and Hour Division, everything. I'm everything not in the park. They say I have nothing. I have no leg to stand on, nothing. But yet they turn around and they file lawsuits against employers, federal contractors just like UPS, who's supposed to be paying union wages under the federal contracts. They don't do it. For whatever reason, it's really irrelevant to me because they owe the employees the back wages and UPS owes the federal government the taxes on it. There, I may be wrong, but there seem to be two different ways that this problem can be fixed. One is if the Obama administration properly prioritizes uh, how they handle it and who they target, and they sue or engage in some other kind of regulatory action to ensure that UPS is paying all the employees, okay? That's one. The other way is for the employee to sue in federal court, UPS, probably a class action lawsuit since you're talking about wages for a bunch of people, under the Fair Labor Standards Act. And I've been involved in that kind of litigation before is, is how I happen to know about the FLSA, or Fair Labor Standards Act. And if the employee is able to establish to the satisfaction of a judge or a jury <clears throat> that in fact the employer has not been paying what the law says they're supposed to pay, well then you get all your attorney's fees paid for, you get all your uh, litigation expenses paid for, you get all the money you're supposed to get, and you get some kind of punitive damages against the employer as a deterrent so that they'll act right the next time. And I can't remember if it's double uh, damages or triple damages or maybe 50% extra, but it's a self-help remedy, so there, there are two ways to do it. I can't do much about the Obama administration and the way in which they tell their agencies to operate. Um, I'm, I'm in Congress, not... What role, then, is, is congressional oversight? That congressional oversight... Of, these, of, of the government. I mean, is, the only ability that Congress has with respect to congressional oversight is one of embarrassment. You should be doing this, you're not. Do it right. The Congress, the, the House of Representatives in particular, does not have the ability to tell the executive branch to do anything, but our oversight consists of holding hearings where they get a black eye because it's publicized and it shows that they're doing wrong, and because the publicity is such that it it embarrasses them, uh, the executive branch then starts doing it the right way. Okay, but we can't, for example, put anyone in the executive branch in jail because they violate the law. The Constitution doesn't give us that power. We can't um, make someone pay a fine or a penalty. Uh, the Constitution doesn't give the House of Representatives that power. So all of our oversight hearings, say on Benghazi, on the IRS, all it is is to publicize in hopes that the, the executive branch will be so embarrassed that they'll do something right. The, the one bit of power we have uh, with respect to the executive branch is that of impeachment. But we can only impeach if a majority of the House says so, coupled with two-thirds of the Senate concurring, and then it has to be for a high crime or misdemeanor. So the failure to follow a civil statute is not a high crime or misdemeanor. We're not talking just about civil statute. Well, we're talking about we're talking about I filed a civil RICO lawsuit. Well, that's civil. Yeah, I understand that. But in the same token, too, they're engaged in criminal conduct. 
why is it that when you the government? You're talking about UPS. No, I'm talking about the federal government along with UPS. Okay, tell me what they, criminal statute the federal government has violated with respect to UPS. As soon as I made everybody known to this, that this is going on, is that not enough right there under Title 18, U.S. Code number two, then number three, Let me see it. then number four? Basically what you're telling me then, any